Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you are new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. First of all, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to everyone who is a mother or like a mother because you don't have to be a mother to be like a mother. You know what I mean? So happy Mother's Day. And you know what? Even if you're not a mother, happy Sunday. Like really, I every day is a blessing. I wake up with a grateful heart, no matter if it's a holiday, regular day, every day can be a holiday. So happy Sunday, y'all. I wish I had a mimosa. I do not. I'd like to say I'm getting ready for Mother's Day with my mom, cause that's what I probably will be doing at this time. Actually, I should be with my mom at this time. And we're gonna be getting crabs today. So Arielle and I are going over and we're having crabs and chilling and hopefully having some mimosas or something even stronger. <sighs> yes. As for right now, getting ready to go to Sky Zone. What's new? Birthday parties, that that's just seems to be the thing for the weekend. But if you wanna go ahead and get ready with me using some makeup that I am loving lately, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to connect with another enthusiast that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. Y'all know I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, so yeah, sky's on. It's great because it's gonna be really good for the boys. So I am not gonna complain. So let's go ahead and get this makeup done. I got on my little Powerpuff Girls hoodie and we're gonna keep it pushing. Adidas track pants as per use. Now, I have done my eyebrows already. So let me let y'all see those now that they're super great. The three products that I always use for my eyebrows are the Maybelline Express Brow Pen Sole in black brown. I, I stencil that out and then I use the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in Espresso. And then on top of that, I used to use the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I still do use that. But right now I am using the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. So that's what I have on. And now we're gonna move on to the next step in my routine. And that is my sunscreen. I am into it. This is the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen Hydrating Mineral Shield. Now this is definitely a serum. If you have this, you've got to be careful because you see what happens. I'm, no, I'm not squeezing. I'm just going like this. So if you squeeze a lot, it's going to come out. But this stuff is great. Prior to this, I was going to show it to you, but I can't find it. I use the Tatcha Cream Sunscreen Primer. Is it right here? Hold on. Ah, yes, it's this. And the serum has a higher SPF. This one is S. PF 35, this one's SPF 50, this one's a serum, it's got some skincare stuff. This one does not. I use them both, that, that's where we are. So just go ahead and let that sit in for a second. We're gonna move on to the next step. I did use my Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Ultimate Anti-Aging Cream before I did my sunscreen and then my regular skincare situation which is not super elaborate. We're gonna go ahead and get into the base. Two products I have been loving and I combine all the time are the Chanel Skin Tint Foundation in the shade B50. This is that Red Camellia Revitalizing Foundation. I like to combine it with my Auric Glow Lust. This is the shade Pyrite. I have this in two shades actually, but I like to combine them and I combine them by just doing a couple pumps of the Chanel and then only one pump of the Arc on my hand. And lately I have been into the sponges. So yeah, I was using a lot of brushes, but now I'm into the sponges. So I'm just going to take my sponge, mix it around on my hand. This combo is so great. Now the Chanel really does have a skin like finish and the Auric is more of a highlighting situation. It's like the uh, 
what is it? The Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I like to mix them. It's not a highlight. I don't want to say that. It's, but it's very dewy and glowy. Now, one thing I do notice is that since I have been using sponges, I do use more product than the brushes. But I don't mind because I really do enjoy the finish that the sponge gives me. And I find that I go back and forth between sponges and brushes. And that's okay. Hello. Destroy. It's not time to go yet. When? Excuse me? When? When I'm done this. <sighs> I don't always do makeup. That, that's, close my door, because that's, that's a lie. I wish I could say that, because I'd have a lot more videos. Yeah. yeah, I would. Lots more videos if I was always doing makeup. But no, it's not the case. Time for the foolery. Like, we're not gonna do that. So the sponge really soaks up a lot of this. And so I do find myself using a bit more. And that's okay, I'm into it. And there we have a nice little glowy, dewy situation for Sky Zone, y'all. Okay, moving on. I have been trying out a new concealer, you guys. This is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. And this is the shade MG5. Show you what that looks like. And that is the shade. We're gonna go ahead and apply this. I do think this one is pretty full coverage if you like that. I don't mind that for concealer, you know, at all. Like, cause some mornings I'm looking like real extra tired. So this one is gorgeous. Let's see, do we see any scars? Sometimes I can see those scars. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same sponge. I think that looks really good. And that's that, super easy, and I think it looks great. This next product is not new at all, but it's one that I have really, really come to love. This is the Pat McGrath, what do we call this? Skin Fetish Sublime Blurring Under Eye Powder. And this is in the shade yellow, it's that banana shade. Y'all, this is so good, it is so good. I don't know, it, it might be my favorite. It might be my favorite, y'all. Packaging isn't. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the same sponge, and this is why I have to wash my sponges a lot, because I use the same sponge for a lot of uh, products. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this where I put my concealer. So underneath my eyes, and I know I have enough when I can feel it go like that without catching. I feel like it soaks in really well. Do a little bit here, a little bit here where I'm always wiping my nose. And then a little here where I put my concealer. And then that's it for that. It is really good, y'all. It really is. Okay, let's move on. All right, bronzer is next. I'm gonna go with my tried and true Gucci bronzer in the shade three. This is just a classic bronzer for me. And a classic bronzer brush is my Sonia G Niji Pro brush. This is my first brush by Sonia G. Put that on. Give us just a little color back. I don't need to be super bronzed, but you can see that. This is such a good bronzer, I'm sorry, but it really is. I mean, I, I have a lot of bronzers that I like, but I love this one. I love that this is more of like a neutral tone because I feel like a lot of my bronzers are super warm, but this one is like the most neutral one that I have. So if I don't wanna go for that warm tone or that warm look, this one is just the one I will always reach for. Ooh, actually, this one and the Victoria Beckham, both of those, yes. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my neck just because we need everything to match. I feel like I have more on my forehead than I'd like, and that's okay, because I'm doing it in the camera versus how I usually do, and that's cool. All right, cool. All right, I'm going to wait on the blush. I look chiseled, okay. Oh, I'm gonna wait on blush until the end, and I'm gonna give myself a spray, Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna get my eyeshadow primer. The eyeshadow primer that I am using all the time is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is in the shade Eden. Just gonna put a little here and a little here. 
Gonna go ahead with the same sponge and just go ahead and tap it in. Yes? Destroy. It's not time. Like the party doesn't start till 5.15, it's 3.12. Yes? I can't. It's not my stupid video. First of all, the video has nothing to do with going to the party because it's not time. It, but it's, I, I'm doing it, but I'm doing it early so that we get on time. Destroy. You know what's okay? That we can stay here. That's, what, that's what's okay to me. Did you know it's Mother's Day weekend? I said it's Mother's Day weekend. Mothers don't get to. They don't get to do everything. I mothers don't get to do everything they want to do. No. Are you guys gonna just stay? Okay, you know, y'all gonna watch me put on my makeup. Y'all gonna let me change my battery. Anyway, I'm gonna move on. I can hear you. I don't they can hear you and they know you're they know you're there. Okay, so let's get into the eyeshadow, y'all, because that's like the most exciting part anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a palette I've never used before, y'all. Look, it's the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Haven't used it. I look very bronze, and that's okay. But I'm so excited to use this palette, y'all. Look, I just took the, <gasps> the look. <laughs> I just took the little paper off. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Uh, this paper is yeah, I got this one by, I did. I just got, so you're interrupting my video and making it go slow. Sure. Take this? Sure. Oh, I can take this off. Sure. So this was buy one, get one free with the Sunset Palette and I'm finally sitting down to use it, y'all. I'm not gonna be doing any type of super dramatic look, but I'm really excited to get started. So let's go ahead into the shade Nude Moth, and I'm going to use a brush by the brand Egg Show. All right, and there's the brush. This is just a tapered blending brush. Did y'all see how the gold palette is back? I'm gonna get the gold palette, y'all, because like, everybody loves the gold palette. I don't have it, but everybody loves it. It's such a good one. So let's just go ahead in with Nude Moth. Ooh, easy, the ease, the ease for Sky Zone. I mean, really, you know. So they're sitting here because they're monitoring me, I guess, to see if I'm doing what I said I was doing, but I'm just going to sit here. This is actually way more pigmented than oh, I thought. Tomorrow I'll be rushing around the same way. That's the thing. So let me know, what do you all do for Mother's Day? Let me know in the comments. Like some of y'all might not even be on here because you're doing Mother's Day things, but let me know what you all do. Like, is there a, what do we call it? A tradition? Is there a Mother's Day tradition in your family? I'd love to know. <sighs> Truth be told, I don't want to do anything because I think sometimes I forget I'm a mother too. You said, you said, you don't do I didn't say we don't do anything. That's not what I said. I said sometimes I don't want to do anything. No, no, it means nothing. It means I'm a mother too and sometimes I want to chill. That's what it means. Because I spend a lot of my time being a mother. By choice, you know what I'm saying? Yes, okay. Let's move on. Let's go into Nude Vino. I'm gonna switch brushes here. I think I'm gonna go into this Blends Bunny brush. I'm gonna enjoy Nude Vino on this Blends Bunny B5 brush. I'm gonna be focusing this shade into the crease, yes. Yeah, let me know what y'all do. So my mom, we're getting crabs. Did I say that? I might've said that at the beginning. We're gonna be getting crabs and probably the boys will have pizza or something along we those lines. Yesterday. We did. Oh, are you tired of pizza? No. Uh, I didn't think you were. Cause we can have something else. Would you like some salmon? Would you like some salmon? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want that tomorrow instead of pizza? The pizza man? I'll let Mimi know. No, it's okay. No, yeah. And you can just see even from afar, this is giving us some depth yeah. and brain. Let me zoom back in. 
So these these mats, of course, in true Natasha Denona fashion are awesome. Now I have on this little pink Powerpuff Girls shirt. Not that I'm trying to be matchy matchy, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Cyclone. And this is Cyclone here. Let's go ahead and take a finger. Pink to gold flip, love that type of shade. One of my favorite shades. Just taking my finger and tapping this in. I think this pink to gold flip shade, and I have this shade from several brands. These are just classic shades. One of my favorites, I think. So let's just focus this in here on the inner lid and the middle portion of the lid. And then we're going to add some more shimmers. Let's go into the shade Magnetic. And we're gonna go ahead with a finger blending this right into our Cyclone shade. Really easy. Kind of wish she had a deep purple matte in here because I'm gonna go ahead into the shade Amethyst, which is this one here, Amethyst. And not really having a lot of rhyme or reason to this look, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the outer part of the lid, the mid to outer part of the lid. Just wanna give some purple. Just wanna give the look a little purple touch. And I love this so far. I'm just taking that B5 brush and blending it out. And then I'm going to go into the shade Amara and put that on the outer corner just to drag it out. I think I used this already or maybe not, I don't know. I'm using it now. I'm just gonna drag it out. This is just confirmation that I really do want that gold palette. Yes, okay. I'm gonna take a clean Sigma eyeshadow brush and just go over the entire look. And then we'll get into the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into the shade Nude Vino with a BK Beauty A504 brush. All right, y'all, we're almost done. Last but not least, we're gonna have an inner corner highlight, and we're going to go into the shade Juno. Hey. This is Juno right here. I'm gonna use a pencil brush. Somebody's not going to Sky Zone. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this in. You would think, you would think, I'm like, go play your iPad, go chill, no. I'm not forcing nobody to do any work, but no, they just won't be up under me. And that's, you know what, that's what being a mom is all about. That's what it's all about. So I'm not, uh, I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? This is just a regular. All right, here's the look. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna finish this look and then I'll be back to wrap it up, y'all, so y'all can get on with your day. All right, y'all, I'm back. Couple things left to do before we close this video out. And one of the steps is blush. My two favorite tried and true blushes are Desert Orchid and Nude Venus by Pat McGrath. I like to combine them. So we're gonna do that today. I feel like these colors just go with any look that I wear, especially Desert Orchid. But if I want more of a pinky tone, I like to add the Nude Venus on top. And you can see it's it's not super, super pigmented, but I think it just looks so beautiful with anything you put on. And I'm gonna top that with one of my favorite highlighters, which is the Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude Glow. Just a very, very subtle, natural highlight. And I haven't been using highlighter as much lately. That's why I didn't get the highlighters from the Cleona collection because when I do, I tend to go for these more natural highlights. So we're just gonna go ahead with that today. And last but not least for lips, just going with something easy. This is my YSL Beauty Slim Radical Matte Lipstick in the shade Released Nude. I hope that's what it's called because I can't see it on here. It's the shade 311. I think that's what it's called though, Release Nude. I'll put it in the description box and I'm not gonna use this with a liner, but you easily can. And I love these. I have two shades. I have Release Nude and Limitless Cinnabar. And these are the creamiest mattes you will ever try, period. I don't think 
I have ever felt a matte lipstick shade that felt like this. Destroy. He's watching something bad. I'm getting ready to come out in like two minutes. Literally about to wrap this up. I don't think I mentioned the eyeliner that I used. Did I mention the mascara? I do have on a ColourPop liner and it's a plum shade and plum and burgundy eyeliners are my favorite. I've always loved them and I'm really loving them lately. And then the ColourPop Act Natural Lash Mascara is a defining mascara and it's brown. So I have been using that and I love it. I am gonna set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water Setting Spray. And there's the finished look. I don't think I zoomed in on the eyes, but you know, first time using Lila, I really do love this look. It's a pinky purple look, but you know, there are a lot of neutrals in the palette. So you can just do a, a, a real nice variety. So I'm excited to use that palette even more. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump away to Sky Zone. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another Mimosas and Makeup. Again, happy Mother's Day to you whenever you are watching this and wherever you are. We're just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be here. I start every day with a grateful heart. There is so much going on in the world. Every day we wake up is, is definitely a blessed day y'all. It really, really is. And I don't take it for granted, like whether it's a holiday or not, it really, really doesn't matter as long as we're here. So I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe, and I'll see y'all really soon. Bye. Oh,